What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Boost Feed. Today I'm going to be answering a question I think a lot of young enthusiasts think about. You know, is the GD platform STI and WRXs, are they good to modify? So, 04, 05, 06, and 07. We're going to be answering that question today, so let's hop on the road and let's talk about it. Now, these STIs have always been sought after for many and multiple reasons. The look of them is just iconic. It has one of those body styles and looks where it just really is, it's always a classic and you can really never go wrong with it. Right. Yeah, right. Not only are the body styles super iconic, but obviously the motor has always been sought after as well. I think the big thing with modifying a Subaru in today's day and age with this chassis is really just the price and how expensive they go for nowadays. A clean Hawkeye STI will run you roughly 15 to 20 grand, 15 on the low end. I got mine for 15. It was a great deal. The guy took great care of it. He great care of us when we purchased it. But when you get into modifying a Subaru, especially these chassis, it's always so important to look for maintenance that's been done and really how well the previous owner had taken care of it. Now these motors, they have a reputation of you know exploding, which uh, they're not perfect. If you rip on them and you don't take care of it, they're not gonna treat you very well. But if you take care of it, it will take care of you. That's always been my experience with Subarus. I've had four Subarus now previously. And that's always been my thing with them. If I take care of them, it will take care of me. Now these cars, obviously, you can push quite a bit of horsepower through them and it will hold pretty well. A stock block can hold roughly 20 pounds of boost on the high end. You can probably push it a little bit further if you really want. The thing that always made Subaru so fun is the Subaru community that comes with owning a Subaru. I know everyone's probably heard of that Subi wave, the quick little two fingers up to the next Subaru driver that's driving by you. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen too much anymore, at least with my experience. My first Subaru was a 2008 hatchback. I got it when I was about 16, about five years ago. I remember getting multiple waves from everybody. It felt like every Subaru I passed, I was getting a wave, whether it was a Bug Eye, a Hawk Eye, or even you know a brand new one like a 2016 at the time. With the STI I have now, I notice I don't really get many waves. I think I've owned this car for about a year now. Uh, thinking about it, I think I've maybe gotten four or five waves. Probably got about four or five waves in total. modifications 
such as a downpipe, maybe a small tune, uh, you know, one that's not gonna blow up your motor. These cars can be a riot. They're so much fun. My first car, the 2008 hatchback, it was actually a stage two plus. So it had an intercooler, downpipe, intake, all these things. It had a pro tune. It was running about 300 wheel horsepower. That thing was so much fun. You'd floor it in first gear. You could feel the whole end of the car lift up. The wheels would spin. It was amazing. So I know what these motors are capable of in terms of, you know, maxing out their stock potential. And they're so much fun. They don't have to be 500 horsepower to make it fun. These cars are amazing. I love these cars. STI is incredible. I'm so glad I got this car. Now I believe absolutely STIs are great to modify, especially in 2023. Now it's hard. The main thing is just finding one that has been well taken care of and properly maintained. Now as the years go on, these cars get older, uh, the demand for them gets higher, so prices will get more expensive for super clean ones. So as the years go on, it's hard to find a super clean one, but if you do, they're absolutely worth it. They're so much fun. I can't explain how much fun they are. I hope everyone gets to experience the feeling of, you know, going through the gears in a six speed, hearing that STI rumble. It's just, it's really unmatched. Now these cars are fast too, don't forget that.